Hey, so two days ago I did for the first time laundry by myself. I know, I know. She wants to live like normal people. She's gonna do, do, no, normal people do. Um, anyways, yeah, so, very normal. And I did, um, laundry by myself for the first time. And it was a really, really bad experience. Like, like, people are really sad in laundry places. Like, the people that work there are very sad. And the people that go there, and they're just, like, it's winter. So they're wearing, like, a lot of jackets and just, like, staring out the window you know, it's just, like, very, it's just, like, a very sad place, you know, and I was, like, really trying to, like, I was, like, smiling and trying to engage in conversations, you know, like, that's just not, no, like, no one engages with me generally in anything, um, so I was, like, well, why don't I create my own laundry place, you know, and we are gonna have, like, board games and a DJ booth, you know, and it's gonna be, like, fun and new and it's gonna be like a different experience you know um so we're gonna have so i started designing it uh i just wanted to test it out and we're gonna have like a lot of local art you know from local artists it doesn't matter if it's good or not because art is subjective anyway so like who am i to say you know so uh this one says ceci n'est pas une washing machine you know like my great I don't know. Um, and this one's super cheap is my favorite because it's like a washing machine instead of a washing machine instead of a washing machine so it's like it's infinite you know if 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 there is such thing as infinite you know this shows that uh, because <laughs> there can always be a washing machine instead of a washing machine i I don't want to get too abstract you know um and you're gonna get these tokens instead of quarters and in order to get a token you have to have four quarters and ring it and we give you a token. And you need four tokens to make the machine work, you know, but it's like you're paying for the whole experience, you know, it's not just like a wash and this. And then you, we have punch cards to to, to um, encourage people to come back. Um, if you get 12 washes, then you get one for free. And then we have um, smoothies and frozen grapes and we're going to have a mixologist too at night and then... Um, there is like some board, some board games, you know, Monopoly and, and this little thing. And it's pretty much the design. This is the DJ booth, and this is the dryer and the washing machine and the stripper pole. You know, because like women feel very comfortable every time they go to a place and there is a stripper pole. Like we feel like oh, our sexuality is accepted here. You know, we can actually be ourselves. You know, and express our inner goddess. You know. So, um, and then th this is the candy machine, um, and this is where the Asian girl is going to be standing, but we'll get to it eventually, and this is the table that is closest to the outlet, and the Wi-Fi is dirty secrets. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this is the main stuff. Um, he has a lot of tattoos, and he seems very dry, but I keep telling people, you know, he's very sensitive inside. He's always calling his mom ma you know it's very sweet he's always saying that like, he's gonna move to Poland. he has very small feet though um like unusual you know and he, but he knows he knows it's not that you have to actually tell him you know and then there's an asian girl um she's chinese i'm terrified of her i think she's a painter um and and i know occasionally she sleeps with quentin tarantino but i don't want to ask her more than that you know and she's a feminist, like a hardcore one, the ones that don't actually bring anything good to the mix, you know, she just like fucked it up for everyone, and she traveled a lot in Latin America and didn't, didn't do anything, you know, but always talks about it, I was very high when I hired her, I don't know, um, this is the place from the outside, you see, you see the continuity, this is the guy with tattoos smoking outside, and this is the candy machine, and these are Christmas lights that are on all year, you know, to keep it festive, and the place is called Wash, and that's me. Looking at everything from above, that's my office. It's very pretty. Um, and this is another one of my staff, and he, you know, he vokes, and he thinks he's fabulous, and he, like, gets wasted at the end of the night. And like Turks, he's a half Dominican, and he's always like talking shit to me in Spanish. And I'm like, 
I don't understand anything you're saying. Um, I think he's probably, I think he's, he's adopted. Yeah. And then he's, he's Billy. He's the one that puts the candy on the candy machines. He's always corny, horny, corny. He's always horny and, yeah, refills the candy. And he has his gecko, you know? And he finds it very funny to, like, make you, like, kiss the gecko in the mouth. He finds it very funny. He does it with her. He's like, yeah, kidding. You have the gecko and the gecko's like... Uh, but the gecko gets a spin-off, um, and yeah, it's a spin-off of the gecko, and he like this is trying New York City, and then like he's like a pimp, and he like has this like playboy mansion with all these like old ladies, has Billy in a cage, you know, like an animal, um, and then I created my own TV show um, when I was in the laundry place, and it's about this like tiny Jew. Um, and his name is Shlomo, and we team up, and we have this, like, you know, detective group. We fight crime, and we have, like, a lot of nights in very cold places, next to fire places, you know, drinking wine and telling the story of our lives. And one day he tells me he's in love, and then for one of those things I find out he was lying to me, and he was actually 12 years old, you know, but he tells me he loves me, and I'm like... Shlomo, this pedophilia, but I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you about many years. It's necessary. So I was like trying to wait for him, but then, like the third war, war, the third, third, third war, world, world war, war, um, happens, and. Like, all these, like, very beautiful men. They all look like, I don't know, firefighters or something. And they come and they tell the Jews, Hey, we have a promised land. And they do this. So a couple of you are like, what? And they're like, no, it is a promised land. And they're like, oh, you're taking us to the <laughs> promised land. And they're like, yeah. You know, and I'm like, like, I can kind of, like, tell what's going on. So I'm like, ihr bin Jewish in character, so that in hell's nicht Juden. Which means I'm Jewish in character, but I'm not Jewish in heart. So they don't take me. Uh, but they take Shlomo, you know, and I, I've never got to see him again. You know, so I pretty much waited for nothing. Um, and then these are like a couple of celebrities that like come to the laundry place. Um... This is the white guy from TV on the radio, and he's been living in the neighborhood for 15 years. He doesn't find many things funny, and talks about music with the Chinese girl, but I don't get in the middle of that because I'm terrified of her. And she has, he has like a very current sinus infection that keeps happening, you know? So he keeps doing like that, and then... He has a lot of, like, cat hair in his clothes, but he kind of finds it funny. Um, and then friend Armisen comes all the time, and he just, like, moved up the street. Um, he's, he's very sweet. He just came once. Um, and then Ethan Hawke comes, you know, sometimes with his kids and leaves some pamphlets for Greenpeace. And then um, Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf came once and, like, just, like, threw something to the floor, and he was like, this place is bullshit and then just like grabbed me and we had sex in the dryer i was like unprotected sex so yeah that's um the story of my laundry place go wash